The Sporting Spirit, homage to George Orwell, by Riley Elias. It is referred to as passion, the pride, the violence and the satire. Riley's artwork, titled The Sporting Spirit, homage to George Orwell, is a large-scale appropriation of Pablo Picasso's 1937 oil painting Guernica, recontextualised to make symbolic reference to various controversial world football moments that illustrate the mimic warfare nature of the sport. By altering the composition and colour of the work, the intended concept is to portray the violence and ferocity of football, which is often disguised as passion and excitement. This appropriation of Picasso's earlier work alludes to the violence and disaster depicted in Guernica, where soldiers who branded their barbarity as bravery caused the loss of life, innocence and humanity. Exhale by Jody Weiss. Exhale consists of seven black and white underwater photos which explore the emotional release. It tries to capture the liberating and tranquil feelings upon entering the body of water, which sensitively builds a narrative. Exhale visually expresses the emotive power of being underwater, which creates a surreal atmosphere by capturing light and movement together. As a series, the works capture the duality between the figure placed within the underwater landscape and the state of being transformed. Luminoir by Jack Grant. A dark, ominous setting, saturated in vibrant liveliness. Jack's photographic body of work, titled Numinoir, is a series of eight photographs that explore the contrasting nature of a series of mysterious images within a luminescent and animated setting. The eight photos capture unknown figures hiding behind the symbol of umbrellas within the setting of a busy, yet isolated city setting. The title, Luminoir, depicts a modern take on film noir, a style that is characterised by dark and ominous photography. However, his approach utilises colour and light to create luminescent and bright images. The umbrella symbol reinforces the unknown and the hidden, while the colour alludes to the light and saturation of the modern world. Twenty Twenty by Ernesto Gunton. Ernesto's body of work intends to visually convey the range of emotions and experiences through deciphering the puzzle of the Rubik's Cube. Through the emotions depicted in 2020, he aimed to adapt these emotions and feelings of frustration, curiosity and anxiety in relation to events that ensued this year. In the creation of this artwork, the focus of composition and the use of negative space was what helped to develop the concepts. As an artist, his goal was to make the audience think of what he tried to convey through the works especially the relationship to the title. Overall, being able to create and depict the whole outline and composition of what the artwork was supposed to look like made him satisfied as an artist. Lucid Lateralization by Max Glissold. Throughout lucid lateralization, explored in the absence of mind, an experience that affects all subconsciously. Lucid, highlighting experience with the dream of feeling awake, aware of dreaming, 
and able to control events consciously, presenting a contradictory nature of work. Mastering the use of stippling has allowed Max to create intricate features of people falling alongside the more substantial heads, accentuating a sense of disconnectedness between a metaphysical presence and the body itself. Dynamic Equilibrium by Flynn Rahala A state of balance between continuing processes. Balance, but constantly changing. Our lives are not constant, always changing with the tides from age to people to status. We are always changing. Always thinking we are more than what we are. Just like the ocean tides come in and the tides go out. The resin captures the nature of the ocean through its dynamic equilibrium. Dynamic but constant, something we will never understand. The sheer size of the ocean and the beauty of the shoreline allows the viewer to think about how small our lives really are and realise that in perspective to the ocean we are so little. The scale of the shoreline is depicted through the length of his artwork, with the viewer being encouraged to move along the work in a similar way to travelling down the shoreline of the beach. Allowing his art to be from a new perspective, it provides the viewer with a contemporary view of something that is thought to be already known. Biomechanical Human Artificial Intelligences by Noah Morris. Noah's artwork, called Biomechanical Human AIs, is a body of work surrounding the significance of technology in humans and machines. He has created three different sculptures. These works all have different meanings. The first one is a steampunk inspired sculpture that appears to look all old and rusted and should have been thrown away, but instead it has been brought back to life. The second one is a silver one surrounding the significant figure of what modern technology can do and what can look like. The final sculpture is a sculpture built around modern day technology and what we tend to use in our everyday life, for example, controllers, wires, keys, keyboards, circuit boards, and computers and gaming consoles. But the amount of space left on the artworks means that we can't always be depending on modern day technology. His body of work concept is steampunk inspired human machines and surrounding the significance of modern and human technology. In the Eye of the Firestorm by Oliver Darmody. As an artist, and a volunteer firefighter, Oliver found it was his responsibility to depict the emotions and perspectives that were felt and experienced by firefighters during the 2019-20 bushfire season. These emotions vary from exhaustion, fatigue, exhilaration, dehydration and adrenaline. Just as every human experience, there are more that cannot be expressed through an image. This body of work depicts firefighters' perspective from the fire front as well as different events such as funerals. Many individuals had to overcome great adversity in continuous five-month struggle to save community across Australia and the reality of this is not fully known to a large audience. Oliver sees the opportunity to use this platform to remind his audience and to allow an understanding of the sort of things that take place. The small scale, intimate nature of his works allow for a relationship between artwork and audience which also allows for a closer look that reveal intimate aspects of the people involved.